Hello, it's me, Sharon, and it is the very first week of term two at UBC, which means that it is time for some textbook shopping. So this morning, when it was still bright and early, I went to the UBC bookstore to buy most of my books. So since I went there around like 10 or 11, it actually wasn't too crowded compared to last time when I went during the evening and the line looped like all the way around these dividers. So I would say it was a pretty good idea for me to go earlier. Today is actually the Friday of my first week back and I chose to buy my books today instead of earlier just because I like to go through my whole schedule before buying any books. Because sometimes it's not actually necessary for you to buy all of the textbooks for your courses and usually during the first lecture your prof will tell you if the materials are necessary or not so that's why I decided to wait till the end of the week to sort of hear from them first before buying anything that I didn't need. So I made my way to the very back of the bookstore which has all of the textbooks ordered by name. Now this is my favorite part of buying textbooks. So at the back there's this really cool machine and you can just swipe your student ID and it prints out this blue receipt for you and it has all the things that you need to buy for your courses. So I had to find this textbook for my Physics 170 course so using my receipt I looked for it by the name and I was able to pick it up pretty easily. And some classes will actually require you to buy some other supplies other than textbooks. So in my chemistry last term, we actually had to buy some calculators or lab safety supplies and today I had to buy some yellow notebooks for my physics lab. So after I picked up everything, I lined up at the front, which actually had a pretty short lineup compared to how it is in the afternoon. So usually the bookstore only has one row of cashiers, but during the beginning of the term, they like magically open up a second row, so even if the line is really long, it actually moves pretty quickly. So for one of my classes, I had to buy an access code for the online materials. So some things like online materials have to be bought at the cashier, so all I had to do was just to ask for it and they printed it out for me. So speaking of online materials, let's talk a little bit about alternatives to buying textbooks at the bookstore because books can be pretty expensive. So at the bookstore, you have the option to buy a package that has the hard copy included with the online e-textbook. Or you can just buy the online textbook, which is just slightly cheaper than the hard copy. However, some people like to buy the hard copy instead, just because it's only like slightly more expensive than the online version, and you can actually resell hard copies compared to online versions, which you can't reuse. Also, I think it's a really good idea to buy used textbooks online, because they're really easy to find on websites like Craigslist or Kijiji, and also buy and sell groups for used textbooks are super popular on Facebook, and they're really easy to find. And these textbooks are like really heavily discounted and they're usually like much cheaper than the brand new versions. Also, what's nice is that some courses at UBC, such as math, don't require you to buy a textbook. They actually have a free version online that anyone can use. So for my AppSci 160 course, they recommend you to buy the hard copy of the textbook just because it's the only reference we're allowed to have during the labs. However, on one of the online discussion forums for that course, um, someone actually asked about it and the instructor specified that we could print out parts of the online textbook and bring it to the lab instead of paying for the hard copy, which is something that I chose to do. So in the end, although textbooks can be a large part of the cost of your university career, there are lots of easy ways around paying the full price of brand new textbooks. It might just take some discussion with your instructor or just some looking online. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel or follow us on Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.